Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the fourth stage of karyokinesis, which is known as the telophase. Before this, we have discussed the first phase, which was prophase, in which we have seen that the chromosomal network it starts decondensing and it forms thin thread-like structure. After that was the phase which was known as the metaphase. In metaphase, what happens? The chromosomes they arrange themselves at the equatorial or the central plane of the whole cell. After the phase of metaphase was the phase known as anaphase. During anaphase, what happens? The chromosome splits and its centromeres split into daughter chromosomes. Now, these daughter chromosomes started moving towards the poles. After this is the phase which is known as the telophase. Now let us see what are the activities a cell is performing during this phase known as telophase. Telophase is absolutely known as the reverse phase of prophase. Why? Because the conditions which we are going to see over here are quite similar to that of the prophase but they are reverse. The things which have happened in prophase, the opposite or the reverse things will be happening in this case known as telophase. This phase takes about an hour to be completed. The two chromosomes, they start reorganizing themselves into nuclei. Here you can see the set of chromosomes or the sister chromatids, they have separated, they have moved towards the poles and now they have started reorganizing themselves and forming and trying to form a nucleus. The nuclear membrane starts forming. Here you can see the nuclear membrane has slowly, slowly start forming so that it forms a proper nucleus. The nucleolus also starts appearing from the NOR. What is NOR? This is nuclear organizing regions. So from the NOR or non-regions, the nucleolus also starts forming in both of these cells. The decondensation of the chromosomes, that means the chromosomes which were specifically condensed and it had chromosome-like condensed thick structure, now they start decondensing because of the fact they undergo hydration that is water is added and it becomes again the same stage which we have seen like it becomes chromatin network like structure. The astral rays and the spindle fibers which were formed initially this slowly starts getting dissolved into the cytoplasm and the cytoplasm gets actually absorbed these type of spindles, spindle fibers, microtubules and the astral rays. The microtubules they undergo depolymerization because of which you can see the long structures of the microtubules they are shortened and slowly and steadily they undergo depolymerization and gets dissolved into the cytoplasm. So in this video we have talked about the fourth stage of karyokinesis which is telophase where we have seen it is a phase which is quite reverse than that of the prophase. Here the chromosomes they start becoming like uh, the chromatin network which was initially there the nucleolus and the nuclear membrane starts reappearing and the spindle fibers and the chromatin network they start dissolving. So I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.